Hello and welcome to the TimberPad video series. This is going to be an overview video of TimberPad iOS 2.0. So it's early April 2018. We're introducing the iOS version of TimberPad, which so far has just been available for Android and the older Windows CE platforms. So in producing the TimberPad for iOS, we have a few little differences in look and in how things function. Now, functionality overall, what you can do is about the same. Very, very few differences. However, how you achieve that, slightly different in a few places, and we want to point that out. We're in the process of updating our Android videos, so what we're trying to avoid is if you watch the Android playlist, the series of uh, TimberPad videos, and then you install the iOS version on your iPad or iPhone. We want you to just have a heads up on what's going to look a little different and how to make it work. Overall, it's going to be pretty much the same. So that's the goal here. And we're going to run you through this fairly quickly. So TimberPad for iOS, it's going to function on your iPhone or your iPad. And you're going to first have to install FileMaker Go, which is free from the App Store. I currently have FileMaker Go 15, but you could use FileMaker Go 16, or even back as far as FileMaker 12 if you already have FileMaker on your device. So you want to go to the App Store, download and install FileMaker Go. It's free. And then you'll uh, receive a single file of TimberPad as an email, and it will auto-install into FileMaker Go, the FileMaker Go folder. And to uh, open TimberPad, you'll go to FileMaker and on your device and it will be one of the options. It's pretty pretty pain, painless and I think you'll have good luck with that. So TimberPad for iOS has an exit button in the middle of the screen whereas with Android you're exiting by using the buttons on your hardware device. Another thing that TimberPad iOS has is a box down here in the lower right hand corner which is a precision estimate in meters for your GPS coordinates. Another item that it has, and the Android version as well has, is manual plot entry. So if you don't want to auto increment your plot numbers, and in other words, if you want to add plots manually, so my next plot, maybe I want it to be plot 17, not plot 1. I'll check that box, and it'll ask me what I want. I'll put a 17 in and that's what it's added. Now if I want to auto increment, which is the default functionality of TimberPad, then I would have that unchecked and that would go to 18. It would go 17 plus 1. So we'll delete these. And that checkbox, you should know, checks through to either plot or plot plus GPS. So now we're on auto plot functionality. So we, we auto plotted. Um, the tree duplicator button. So really the basis for the tree duplicator button is that you're in a plantation, you have a stump sprouted hardwood tree, and you, you know, you've got many trees that are the same species and perhaps same diameter and even same product, but basically it's same species. And you just want to avoid continually entering your white pine in this box. So the tree duplicator button with Android just copies that species. So you'll have a new tree and it will be the same species. Now in the iOS version you have options for species, DBH, and product, any combination of these three. Um, so this is a kind of a setting that you probably would make as a cruiser um, and you wouldn't change it some it really would depend on what type of wood you're in generally species is going to be the thing you want duplicated but if you're in uh, often in the same diameter and species which is less common obviously then you might have both of these checked and very rarely but possibly would you want all three but the Android version only allows species duplication the iOS does have these two other things. This is one of the few things that the iOS has over the Android, but it does have that. So if we have the species set, we get that. 
if we have species and diameter set we get species and diameter if we have species diameter and product set we get all three duplicated the next thing I want to point out and I'm going to create a bunch of trees to show you it is that with the Android version say you had a hundred tree records in here and you wanted to get up to tree one you would just scroll up to tree one and if you just put your finger on that anywhere on that row you will jump to tree one with the iOS version you would click on that uh, button for that row and then you would jump to tree one so you can jump around your data and of course this is a lot more meaningful if you have uh, if you're you know have hundreds of records here or your finger scrolling through these records it's really neat that you can have all of your plot information all of your tree records available so easily you don't have to uh, remember say you had a 37 inch tree or a, a large outlier tree somewhere in your data you could probably visually see that and just go to that you wouldn't have to remember what plot number it was on it wouldn't be buried in your in your in your uh, data set so those are a couple of the things that make it different we also want to show you um, additional functionality that both Android and iOS will have and that is that if you go to do your export in the past you would be exporting you'd be writing your data set to the to the device but we also have the auto email functionality now if you have a device that has email set up on it it's going to and you click e email now in iOS you can email either comma separated value files or text but you click that and you create an email with uh, your data attached and you could send that off to the office or up to the cloud however you want to do it and the same functionality works for the tall timber formatted output so if you want to uh, output a tall timber ready file you would be clicking this button and then you would be clicking email either CSV or text we'll do comma separated value file this time and it creates an email with the uh, you notice that the my woodlot is added to the file name and that is that is because my woodlot is the project name so it emails that all you gotta do is push a button if you if you're within cell coverage and you can send that off people in the deep woods of Maine or, or in other parts of the country with poor cell reception um, you'll have to keep it on your device and get it off the device at the truck or wherever else you uh, can can unload it those are the major things that make Timberpad iOS distinct um, keep an eye on our T Timber YouTube channel we're going to be updating the videos and the manuals and media in the next month or so we should be done by the 10th of May thanks for watching